Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we'll teach you how to work with borders. The resume used in this tutorial can be found at the following link. You can apply and customize borders to text boxes, shapes, tables, as well as paragraphs. This resume has all of these elements, and we'll go through each one to show you how to customize the borders. This resume has been built using a single table. If you zoom in, you can see that this table doesn't have borders around it. But these cells have this banded border at the top and bottom. If you click your mouse anywhere in the table, you can go to the Design tab of the Table Tools, and these are the Border Tools that you can use to apply borders. There are some fixed styles here that you can select and use. If you want to change the border to blue, you can select the blue one, and you can even customize the border style, the border weight, as well as the color. When this border painter is selected, your mouse changes to a paintbrush, and you can just click on individual borders to apply the design that you have chosen. If we apply it to the left, right, top, and bottom of the name cell, they adopt this blue border that we've selected. Let's undo that. In this Borders tool here, you can also apply a bottom border, a top border, left, right, and various other choices. As you hover over them, it shows you a preview on the table. Now keep in mind that these customizations using the tools on the ribbon only apply to individual borders or cells. But if you go down to Borders and Shading, you can get much more control and fine-tune the borders for the whole table. On the left here, we have some quick settings. You can set no borders by clicking None, a box border, which is around the whole table but not between the cells, an All setting, which applies the border selected to all the borders, including the cells inside the table, and a grid, which applies the border selected to the outer borders of the table, and a simple solid line in between the cells. You can also choose a custom setting and apply different borders to the different sides of the table or in between the cells. So let's apply a border to the outside of this table, as well as the cells inside. This gives you a preview of whatever design you've chosen. A gray highlight here indicates that the border is not set. If you click here, it turns to blue, and you can see now the border is set on top. This is for the top, this is for in between the cells, and that's for the bottom border. This is for the left, and that's for the right. You also have diagonal borders but those are not going to be used in this resume. You can set the color here and the width of the border here. Let's change the borders that have been applied to this table currently. Let's apply a different border around the table and within the cells so that you can see the changes. Let's put a dashed border around the table, so we can select the dashed style here, and we can remove the old border and apply the new border, top and bottom, left and right. Let's select a solid border style, then we can apply that to the middle border. 
so it applies to the borders between the cells. Now here we select Apply to Table as we want to apply the changes to the whole table. And when you click OK, this whole table has adopted the new borders we've selected. If we zoom in, you can see the top border has the dashed border and the right too. And in between, we have the solid borders that we've set. You can also apply and customize borders to paragraphs. In this resume, you can see these paragraphs have a top and bottom border applied. Since this paragraph is within a table, we can go to the Table Design tab, click on Borders, and go back to Borders and Shading to update these borders. But in resumes that don't have a table, we would have to go to the Home tab, and we can use this border tool to go to Borders and Shading. Here, like in the tables, you can use these quick settings. Let's change this to a blue border. We'll remove the old border and apply this new blue border. This applies to this paragraph, and we can click OK. Now, if we zoom in, you can see we have the blue border on top and the blue border on the bottom. For the bottom, I'll zoom in a little more because the paragraph below still has a brown border on top, so you see both of them there. You apply the changes to the border to multiple paragraphs by selecting all of them. When you select multiple paragraphs, this middle border appears because that signifies the borders in between the paragraphs. So let's apply the blue border to all of them. We can remove that, add it again, then add the top and bottom borders. When you click OK, now they all have a blue border. Now with paragraphs, you can also save this as a style and apply it to other paragraphs to get the same borders. Here, I can select this text, go to Styles. You can see it's currently the normal style, but we can add a new style based on our selection. By clicking this icon here, and let's call this Paragraph with Top and bottom borders. Once we click OK, now we have this style with a top and bottom border of blue. If we come below here, these paragraphs still have the brown border. We can select them and apply this style, and the blue border is applied to these paragraphs as well. With paragraphs, you can also apply a box border around multiple paragraphs. If we select this group of paragraphs, I'm going to bring the right indent inside a little so you can see the whole border all around. Now when we go back to the borders and shading, we can apply a thicker border around the paragraph set. When you click OK, we have a thicker border around the paragraph set. But we still have the thinner border in between the paragraphs. So these are some ways to work with paragraphs and borders. The other elements that you can apply borders to are shapes and text boxes.
if we go into the header, this background box is a shape. The method of applying borders to text boxes and shapes is the same. If we go to the Format tab, under Drawing Tools, there is a shape outline, which is the same as a border. You can also choose these fixed shape styles, and as you hover over them, it shows you a preview on the document. But if we go to the shape outline, we can select different weights, customize the colors, as well as the border style. Let's just choose a dashed border. And let's change the weight to a slightly thicker weight. And now when you come out of the header, you can see the dashed border around the shape. Text boxes work pretty much the same way, so you can use the same method to apply borders to text boxes. So this gives you a good idea on how to work with borders on text boxes, shapes, tables, and paragraphs. Thank you.